All right, so last time we were able to get the account settings navigation kind of set up where we can click up here and it'll take us to an account settings page. Now I'm gonna uh, populate a list view with options. So there's just gonna be two options to start, um, an option to edit your profile or sign out, and then we need to hook up navigation to this back button. And also I wanna get rid of this uh, progress dialog box that's just kind of hovering here, not really doing anything. Okay, so we'll go down to, uh, we need to go into account settings activity. We can close profile, oh no, we can start in profile activity. And um, I can fix the progress bar first. So we'll private uh, progress bar and progress bar, and then declare the progress bar here. So progress bar equals progress bar, find you by ID, r .id dot uh, probably profile progress bar. And we can just do m progress bar set visibility view dot gone for now. That way it doesn't just hover there for no reason. So that's cool. We can close profile activity and we'll go into account settings activity. And I'm gonna create a method down here. I'm gonna go private void setup settings list because that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a list of settings. And we'll just type a log here, initializing uh, account settings list. And we'll declare our list view, our list view widget here. Find me by ID, r to ID dot list view account settings. And I'm gonna create a new array list of strings. And this is what all the options are gonna be in. Oops, I need to import the array list library. There we go. And uh, we need we need to add it to the options. So or we sorry, we need to add options. So options dot add. The first one is gonna be a string, and I'm just gonna have it edit profile. The second one will be another string and it's just going to say sign out. But we want to add these to our strings folder. So let's go down to values here and go into strings. And I'll just copy this line here. And this one will be edit profile, edit profile and copy that same line again. And this one will be uh, sign out. I know. Okay, go back to here and we can change this to get string r dot string dot edit profile and then this one will be the same get string r dot string dot uh, sign out. Cool. That way um, it's easy to change the names of things. It's always better to use the strings uh, file then just refer to the strings file whenever you want to uh, mention a string. So now we'll create an array adapter, and I'm gonna call it adapter. New array adapter. It's gonna be. I don't have the context, so let's create that up here. Private uh, context m context. Import that library, and do m context equals account settings activity dot this. Then here we can pass the context. Android R dot layout dot simple list item. And then we need to pass our list, which is the options. And then we can do list view dot set adapter and set our adapter. Cool. So I will put that in on create. So I'll just set up settings list. Now if I let's just run this and make sure that our settings are actually showing up before we do any on click stuff or navigation or anything like that. Okay, we'll go to the profile. And that progress bar is gone now, that's good. And let's go to the menu up here. And there we go. So now we have our account settings and we have a sign out option. And so now we just need to attach a on click listener to this image view uh, back arrow right here. So we'll do that now. And I'm not even going to put it in another method. I'm just going to do uh, setup the back arrow for navigating back to profile activity. And I'll just create the uh, image view widget. I'll call it back arrow equals image view find view by id r to id dot uh this back arrow i think yep and oh spelled that wrong back arrow then we just attach an on click listener to the back arrow so new on click listener and let's log that so we're navigating back to pro whoops profile activity 
and we can do since this is an activity we can just do finish and it will bring us back to the other activity so let's run that now and take a look we'll go to the profile and go to the menu back arrow there we go cool so everything seems to be working well I'm gonna stop this video now because in the next one we're gonna to have to set up some fragments what I'm gonna do is build an edit profile fragment I'm gonna build a sign out fragment and then I'm gonna use a uh, let's see here I'm gonna use a fragment state pager adapter which you guys are probably familiar with uh, to uh, actually manage the fragments so there'll be quite a bit of code in the next one so I'll stop the video now and I'll see you guys in that next video